Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. I'm going to take you through my year. I started off in Canada where I spent Christmas and New Year and it was amazing. My family came over. I took them to see the CN Tower. I took them to the aquarium. We had lots of fun and it was just good spending time with them, showing them the sights. I also tasted my very first matcha latte. Okay, so I'm about to try my first ever matcha, matcha oat milk latte. Bye. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, lovely. Hello. So, we are on our way to the Brit Awards 2023. The last time we were here, I can't remember. So, that's the Mini Moon. A very long time ago. Monsieur, I can't see you because you're right there. Hello. There we go. And uh, yeah, we are very excited. So definitely I'll say the Brits was a highlight for me. As you heard, we actually hadn't been to the Brits together since we were 16 years old. And I remember at the time we were nominated and I had chicken pox. <laughs> I feel like the highlight of the night for me was definitely Stormzy. I thought he was amazing. You got the very talented Harry Styles taking a shot with Mo, the very funny comedian. There was just so many performers at the Brits, like honestly, and it was so nice to bump into our peers and they showed us so much love, like we really enjoyed ourselves. Then after the Brits, we went straight to the Warners after party where we DJ'd. And straight after that, there was no time to sleep because we were packing our bags and off to Australia to do our tour. And guys, again, we hadn't been there like for many, many years. And it was just amazing just to get so excited and to experience it all again. So as soon as we got to Heathrow Airport, we went to the lounge, we enjoyed the food and everything it had to offer. Um, I was so excited because they had crumble there. And like, if you know me, I'm definitely a dessert girl. <laughs> and our first stop was gonna be in Singapore. So we knew this was gonna be a super long flight. So when we got on the plane, I made sure I got my essentials out. And the thing that I love the most about flying long haul is that they give you pajamas. And I was definitely enjoying mine. And then just like that, we were in Singapore and this airport, guys, amazing. It even had a swimming pool. There was like some delay on our flight that day. And so we had literally half an hour to connect. For us, it was like, right, freshen up and then get back on the plane. We're given these tickets that kind of tell you like what shower room you're supposed to be in. So I went in and yeah, I loved what I saw. Finally, guys, we arrived in beautiful Sydney. Oh. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Stop. This is so big. And in here we have, get some lights on. Oh no, that's for there. <laughs> There we go. And then under the bed. Right, now we're all set. Now I can relax. And oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Stop. And after we checked into our hotel, Mutti and I went sightseeing and we went to grab some lunch and Siobhan was at the hotel just chillaxing. She went to get a massage, so we decided that we were going to catch up later on in the day and have dinner with her and the rest of our band and crew. So we've come up to a, a rooftop. I think it's called, I don't know what it's called. Hi, this is Trevor, by the way. It's our tour manager. What's this place called? Huh? Kill them. Kill them or whatever it's called. So this is a vibe I have ordered. It is a uh, strawberry heel spritz. 
and today I learned that you have to mix your drink. This is what I'm saying. I'm not a drinker, guys. I had to mix it. So I was like, here, it tastes like water. Camellia, we've got our tour manager, we've got Whitley, our manager, Aaron, big face in the bag. We've got Glam. We've got Glam over there. We've got Mix Mix over here. We are, we've just left the restaurant and we are on our way back to the hotel. Like we're going to the club. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Aaron. Hello Miss. You guys know Aaron from the last vlog. Yeah. Last vlog. What did I do in the last vlog? Oh, you haven't seen it? No. You were there doing the dirty wine. Oh, excuse me. You were. Where? You don't remember it though. You were 100 miles per hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So the next day, I was so excited because it was going to be our very first show in Australia. I ordered some breakfast and yes, it was big. I didn't finish it all. <laughs> Did some video editing and then we made our way to rehearsals before the show, which was at the Inmore Theatre. Yesterday was so good by the way, like the crowd was incredible and you never really know like the vibe when you go to like different countries you don't really know kind of what to expect but you brought it, oh uh oh, <laughs> you brought it Sydney and so Melbourne, let's see what Melbourne's got. We are here, with a shades crew by the way. We're not shady, but, you know, we all have shades on. in Mardi Gras so I have to get some sleep um, this was literally a fly in <laughs> to the show and then fly out type of day Melbourne you were amazing you guys have been so welcoming to us everyone's been showing up and showing out um, and just it's been an incredible experience it's always so nice like meeting people when they tell us you know that our music has inspired them or helped them for the really like hard times and stuff and I will say this like and I don't even know if I've mentioned this on the vlog before but I probably have but I just feel like when I was writing songs I never thought about like how it would affect other people whether it be it positive or negative I was always sort of like like for example my verse in Stronger I remember feeling like um, all my friends have like sort of moved on, you know, because they, I was kind of plucked out of school and then I'm in this girl band and then we have no time to see our friends and family and then when we finally do, everyone's busy or, you know, withdraws kind of like from you and um, I was feeling really depressed around that time and I remember just really just writing my verse from a place of just feeling like dep <laughs> a bit depressed, a bit down, a bit lonely and just to hear that people I don't know that it helped people, it just, it doesn't get old for me. I just feel now more than ever that everything that I put out into this world needs to be linked to, uh, you know, like, like just giving back, giving back. And that's how I just, I don't know, that's how I, I wanna approach the rest of 
my career just being like very intentional about what I put out into this world and what we put out into this world. This is where we're playing tonight guys at 3 a.m. like a courtyard situation. Jet lag, and it's finally kicking in. Missy's a camera lady, actually. Mm -hmm. Say hi, Missy. Hi. hi. We couldn't get through the crowd, so they put us in this buggy and killed us. And even five changing seats. So after a wild night at Mardi Gras, we headed back to Sydney where we had a day to ourselves and we just wanted to go and explore. So we decided to go to Bondi Beach and relax and sightsee. Um, I think it's so important for us, like we all do, to just like take everything in because we spent most of our time as teens like locked in our room. And so, yeah, we wanted to make a thing of it. We had a photo shoot and then we went to dinner with the crew and we had a lot of cocktails and I definitely started a conga line. bed this is huge by the way guys they've got this bed <gasps> the bathroom oh oh yes oh yes hi best friend <laughs>
so guys i didn't get to actually record a proper ending to this vlog um so i just thought i'd just do this guy knew i guys i knew i was gonna be so busy and that i wouldn't be able to like end this vlog properly so i thought let me just record something now because you just never know and i'm glad that i'm doing it so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe turn on your notifications and yeah um share share my videos of course and thank you guys so much as always love you lots and remember we get better not better